Hey everybody, welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today I am going to start a multi-part series. I'm going to be building a CNC plasma table. So this will be part one and I'll be building the, the table and the frame that everything sits on. And also I'm going to try something new in this video. Some of you may catch on right away, but if you don't, there'll be more information about that at the end of the video. So I've got the table, uh, the CNC table on top of the fab table. It's, it's top to top. And 
I was trying to be really careful and keep everything in square and the last two horizontal pieces that I welded in there has definitely tweaked the uh, frame here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, those two pieces out and see if it's straight, see if I can straighten it back up and fix this problem. And this just shows you guys that things don't always go as planned here on the internet. All right, so I cut those two pieces out and they were definitely causing the problem. So I have re-welded those. I've got it here flat on the, the table. It's Remember, it's top to top. And now there's no wobble at all on the frame. So that definitely fixed the problem. All right, so I've got the table all welded up and it's time to put these outer rails on. And what I've done is I've put I've clamped it here on the, the, this is the back of the table. I've clamped it on here. I've also got it clamped up here on the front. And this is where I'm going to mount the linear rails that the gantry is going to ride on. It's going to be on this piece here. And if you notice, there's a little bit hanging off the end here. This is the back of the table. And the gantry needs to go a little bit further back than the back of the table because the torch is mounted on the front and that gantry's got some thickness. So I, I left about six inches hanging off the end here. And that's gonna give that some clearance so that I can reach the end of the table and get the full use uh, on the CNC machine. Now, the water pan is gonna sit down in here and the piece that's being cut is gonna actually sit on the slats of the water pan. So I've taken my calipers and I've gone through here and I'm just checking to make sure everything's level and square and I've noticed that this corner of this uh, frame here is about 30 thousandths too high. So I don't know who said it but one I saw it on some other YouTube channel and he said that playing cards make great shims because they're normally about 10 thousandths thick and these cards I've got are 10 thousandths thick so I just need to put three of them underneath here before I weld and then that will lower this 30 thousandths so now this should be lowered 30 thousandths I'll double check it before I actually weld and I can do my final weld and then this will be in line and this corner won't be 30 thousandths too tall Okay, so here's one other thing I want to point out before I do the final weld. I, I made this mistake earlier and I went back and fixed it and then I made the same mistake again. And, and that's the water pan's going to be sitting right here on this piece. And the mistake was I welded here on the inside. So this weld, the thickness of that weld is going to interfere with the fit of the water pan. So, when I caught the mistake earlier, I went back and ground that uh, weld out. So I'm going to have to go back and grind this one out here before I do this final weld. Because once that piece is on there, it's going to be kind of hard to get a grinder in there and grind that out. So if you're going to make one of these machines yourself, that's just something to keep in mind.
So here's the frame, everything turned out really nice. It's all nice and level and square. And I am going to put casters down here on the bottoms of the legs, but they are on back order and I didn't want to hold up the video. So in case you didn't notice, there was no music on today's video. You can let me know what you think about that by visiting the Making Stuff YouTube page and clicking on the community tab. There's a poll there where you can vote. You could also leave a comment. And if you're wondering what these are, these are Fireball Tool Mega Squares. I've got a link to those in the description. And also, please consider supporting the Making Stuff channel by visiting our Patreon page or using the Amazon affiliate link. There's links to those in the description as well. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and also hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new Making Stuff video comes out. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.